to the Crazy Time Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT. Nah, I'm the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. They made a big announcement. Uh, oh. They're killing all the closets in the country. You can't, you can't hide anymore. Killing all the closets in the country? Getting rid of closets. Wow. What am I gonna hide? Exactly. Wow. You gotta come that out. Is, that is. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. That's what this episode is about. They're making a live action Zelda movie. Oh yeah. Okay. That I was did hear about I was that. Up. I, I didn't hear about that. this. Maybe you heard something else that I didn't hear. No. I guess that's another story. Yeah. We'll do that <laughs> one. one. We'll do that one next week. Yeah. 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 Exactly. So, how do you feel about that, man? How do I feel about that? I know you like Zelda. It's a live action, though, right? Yeah. So. I guess first question, mm-hmm. how do you feel about being live action rather than like Mario, like animated? Mm-hmm. Well, Jones, I, you know, I can give some insight. Uh, I will say is that I believe that Mario translates better into animation. I feel like Zelda would transfer or translate better in live action. Who the hell is, how are they going to make a Tiffin? What's a that stupid tiffin? character that we were just playing with? Toolin. Tiffin? How are they going to make a live action Toolin? I mean, Bird you, just, you just put a man in a suit. I don't even think you even have, like, it, I don't think it's going to get that deep. I do think that they might have some of the races. They're definitely going to have, like, the Gerudo, like, the ladies in it. I think they will even have, like, the uh, the rock creatures. And probably some, you know, they'll probably hit all of those, tick all of those boxes. But, you know, you could make, like, a good costume that looks believable. Yeah, I mean, you ain't wrong. Like, the first one will be a ba- probably, like, a basic story. Yeah, and then if it does well, then it's going to be others. like the 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 beginning. So it's going to be like basic Legend of Zelda one link. So you know, you wake up, you get the sword. I just feel like I would prefer to see a live action Zelda than I would any other property that Nintendo has, especially especially oh, Mario. Um, live action Samus. I guess I could deal with it, like a live action Metroid. They have like kind of like I'm thinking like an aliens type like of a feel sci-fi, to it. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. A sci-fi movie for sure. Yeah, because it it have to. I would like to see a Metroid horror movie. I think that would be cool. Yeah, but I don't know if Nintendo's ready to get in that bag. Nope. It takes a lot to get these companies out of their comfort zone. It took Marvel a, a long time to come across with the whole idea of doing like a rated R movie, but once they did it and it blew up. What they do, Deadpool? Yeah, it was that, a Deadpool. That's the only one, right? That was the it was the first rated R comic book movie, uh, comic book property movie, and it blew up and naturally so to the point where now you know the third one's going to be coming out pretty soon. But it takes a lot for these companies to get out of their comfort zone. So I I have to applaud. They have a brand to protect. Exactly, I have to applaud Nintendo on at least you know get getting out of their comfort zone. Finally doing movies. But apparently they have been shopping an idea for a live action Zelda television show to Netflix uh, a few years back mm. and it never came to fruition. Well, why wouldn't they start with a movie? It's a hell of a lot cheaper just to make a two hour movie than to make like a 12 episode series. Well, it seems that on the heels of what uh, the Mario movie did, they're like, oh yeah. Yeah, they're about to do a Kirby movie. They're about to do a Metroid movie. They're going to be doing a lot more. And I'm they're going to kill it too, man. I, I Just because they're, they're the going to kill it and then they're going to kill it. Right. That's that's what's gonna happen. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, give it five years. There's gonna be ten Mario movies. <laughs> they're gonna pull one out like every yeah, six yeah. months. Yeah, so they're they're definitely gonna kill it because I feel like the Zelda movie. I'm going to go and see it day one. A hundred percent. I'm not gonna see that shit, bro. You're insane. I love man. Plus, by the time that comes out, we might be done with uh, Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> In three years, we might. We, we might. might be done with Tears of the Kingdom by then. Yeah. So, like, I'm I'm a hundred percent on board. I'm surprised you wanted to see Mario movie, and it was it was delightful. I liked it. Yeah, it made exactly. me laugh. It exactly. was nostalgic. It did exactly. some like throwbacks. Exactly. And look, man, Mar- uh, uh, Microsoft, Nintendo isn't really known for putting out shitty properties. You know, they just don't. They don't make movies and shit. That no. Mario movie was the first one was bad. John Leguizamo. Yes, yes. that was whoo. Yes, that it was, was a bad movie. So hopefully they got enough money behind them now where they can make some quality. I'm here for it. I'm gonna see it when a trailer drops. I can't wait. I'm here Who for it. Who plays Zelda? Who plays Zelda? Margot Robbie. She probably. I'm calling for she, it. That'd be nice. I want Margot Robbie as 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 Zelda. Who plays Link? You give me one. Mm, Who plays Link? Uh, hold on, 
Hold on. Has to be kind of waifish. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Who's the, who's the <laughs> kind of kind of uh, little, little, little? You know who I you know who I imagine, but it would never be Dwight the Howard. guy who plays Pippin in Lord of the Rings. <laughs> like the guy who plays Pippin in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, he's just like Elijah Wood. No, not Elijah Wood. No, it's Elijah uh, Wood would actually be a good choice too. Yeah, it would be uh, Tom Holland, maybe. Yeah, Tom Holland, maybe. But yeah, like look up Pippin in Lord of the Rings and be like, oh, there we go. I think it's him. Yeah, you, you googling it? Uh, yeah, it is. Peregrine Took, commonly known as Pippin, is a fictional character. Uh, who played him though? Oh, it is played by Billy Boyd. Yeah, look at but look at him in that movie and tell me Bro, that he couldn't turn into Link. I don't know if he got the uh, Link. <laughs> Link needs his face, man. I can I see where you're going, but his face is a little too beta ish. I'm is sorry. Link, is Link not a not, Link's a Bink like, is I feel like Link is scared all the time. I feel like Link is like a, a twink, but he takes top. Like he's a top twink. Okay. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm Either not way, sure. I think Tom Holland is a good choice for it as well. Um who plays Ganon? I don't even know what Ganon looks like. He's a ghost, right? Jack Black. Okay, see? And I was thinking it. I'm like, please say Jack Black. Jack Black, call back from the, from the other movie, comes and plays the bag after this movie. Jack Black would make a great Ganon. Put him in a put him in some makeup and an outfit. Give him some robes. Have him act like a. It's not going to be like a super serious movie. I would assume it probably still be geared towards like a, kids. like a like a dramedy. Yeah, like it's going to be more drama than comedy, but yeah. like th it'll have comedic elements. Like yeah. it'll be like, oh, look at Link being goofy. Yeah, like you I, know stuff like that. Yeah, I just hope they can tackle it properly. I hope they can pr tackle it right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they will or not. They're gonna try to shoehorn somebody in there that doesn't fit. <laughs> Like who? I don't know. Like oh. Jennifer Lawrence or something. Yeah. Oh, they get freaking the corpse of Heath Ledger. Um, they get uh <laughs> Amber Heard. To... Yeah, they're trying to get Amber Heard in there to play Zelda, and you're like, yo. Yeah. So there's like there's a lot of characters like on the back. There's like there's the Tingle uh like little gnome creatures. There's Navi. There's the fairies that you got to deal with. So I think Lady Gaga plays that big half woman that comes out of the ground. She plays the the big fairies, the fairy mother. That's a good one. Yeah, that's that's a, that's a good choice. Yeah, I think so. Lizzo would have to be a fairy, of course. Lizzo, yeah. We gotta have, we gotta have the. Uh, the I mean, she's got to deal with her allegations first. <laughs> I think she's out of the closet for that one. She got me too. I think she got out of that though. Yeah, but I did don't she? Know. She I got out of that. I don't know. Have you heard anything about it? I mean, they put it. They put it down the. No press is basically good press. They slid it down the. When it comes to pike. allegations, yeah. yeah. Same thing they're gonna do with Dwight Howard stuff. Um, who would Dwight Howard play? In, uh, in, uh, if you, were, and then we're gonna do John Cena. Who would John Cena? Play? John Cena? Uh, I would love to see John Cena in a, in a Zelda movie. Who is the uh, what the area that was like the like. Atlantis, it was like the water. The, the Zoras. The, the, yeah, like he would play yeah. one of them. Okay. John he, Cena or... he played the king. Okay. Like like the Zora king. Okay, that I can be, see that. That would be John Cena. <laughs> okay, I like that. I like John I Cena as Zora. Would play, though. Yo, I think we need to make an entire list of the Zelda... Send it into Of Zelda Nintendo. cast and send it to Nintendo. I think they would love it. And maybe they'd be like, hey, you know what? We need to bring these guys on the Producers. payroll. Producers. Producer credit. Producer credit. Uh, uh, that's money in our pocket. Yep. Holla. Um, anyways. <laughs> that's all the time we have for this episode. Go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. DNT. We out.